but let's do it. We have on the left side here on Cursed Hollow the blue team, German team by the name of Free Agents, and they have <laughs> Stitches, and he's played by Taz Dingo. Then we have uh, Kizolotsky on Arthas, Shadow Mare on uh, Tyrande, and Falset is played by Rolik. In the bot lane, we have Knocks Out on Vela. And on the right hand Five, side, we have four, Womba Combo, three, Happy Feet. Two, and we have one. the Brightwing played by Tito. Let we have Sonya played by a name I don't want to pronounce, so I'll let you have a go at that first. We have Florial on the Tychus, Matt on the Rainer, and Cripple Pete is on the tap the Uterial. And we already have a fight, this is already dead. Wow, that, that was pretty fast. Kizilotsky is <laughs> in trouble as well. He tries to get out there. Nice, nice save here by Shadow Mare. Actually, um, body blocking any enemy attempts to uh, to go for him. Yeah, but that was a nice guy. early pickup here for Stitches. Did you want to have a go at this uh, Sonya's name for me? Um, where's she at? Um, uh, bot lane. K I. K I. I have K. no idea. I like, K. I like just K. K. Yeah. K. Thanks. Bye. How do you pronounce that I with the double dot? I, d I have no idea. That's why I didn't have a go at it. <laughs> <laughs> K I. Hmm. Kaya? Kaya sounds good. Kaya. Kaya's right. fine. But let's, let's go, go for Kaya. Kaya. Alright, so Kaya being engaged upon here by Arthas trying to get the kill. It has Dingo. Mm, yeah, nice hook on Tess Dingo. And she's oh, so come low! On. The bird, wow. the Sentinel almost killed Kaya. Doesn't go down, but uh, Tarande does go down instead. Florial also being dropped very low, but is able to back out, being protected there by Cripple Pete and Matt. And they're able to push back the team here. Of a uh, team name forgotten in brain. Wombo combo. Wombo combo. And Sonya did get out of that fight with 10 hit points. See, she was so incredibly low in that fight. If yes. they would have had Envenom already, um, gone, gone. And I think even with Arthas just staying in that fight for a sec longer, um, I think he, they would have taken her out. Oh, Raiders down. <laughs> Getting completely bursted here. And current kills is 2 to 1, but that is the first kill there for free agents. Yeah, so far, um, not, not really doing all that much here, but I mean, at least getting one kill. And we have a little bit of redistribution along alongside the lanes. Cripple P taking a lot of damage down here, and he jumps out of there just in the nick of time. Yep, using Arsis. that Eldwood's Might to escape the Hungering Arrow from... Uh, from Valor there was not able to uh, retarget itself and get the kill. So Crippler locking out there. Very good timing with his escape. Yeah, they did grab uh, the Siege camp now. So Siege Shines will be coming in down the bot lane. And I think Valor will need a little bit of help at least. And let's see. Arthas actually hearthstoning back. I don't know why exactly. Probably on cooldown for, for the mana well. Uh, yeah, probably to get some mana. Just the fact that one of the other patches in the patch notes was Arthas's, uh, uh, Arthas's Tempest has had a mana cost increase, which is making it a bit more difficult for him to sustain as much as he used to. But now, starting that easy camp, pretty bad timing. Arthas is basically going to be doing this on his own. Falstad's also not going to be there until he can fly down, which means it's basically a free tribute here for Wombo Combo. Yeah, I think it's going to be free. Oh, nice <laughs> long range disrupt out of Tyrande. And really maybe nice should there knocks out having to back up here. And this is really important again, right now. Shadow Bear being really rude to this enemy team. He wants to back up though because Florial and Matt do both go on her. The hungry arrow from Valor is now also denying. There's the Sentinel again. <laughs> wow, this is amazing, and this is exactly uh, what we talked about. I mean, you want to have those long range disrupts just to uh, get the other team out of there and delay the tribute taking for as long as possible. Because if you want to go for that, just let the first tribute go, you need to take the giant camps or um, yeah, take the mercenary camps on the other side. And that's exactly what they did. Falstad is gonna just boost these boost these sea giants in the top lane. Yeah, Falstad just protecting them basically, trying to keep Brightwing off them and gonna go in onto Brightwing now, dealing a lot of damage. There's not that much ammo left in these towers, but there is more than enough to kill Falstad if he was to dive in there. Knocks out was also engaged upon there by Cripple Pete, but Cripple Pete able to back out, knocks out, knocks out able to also stay alive. Now we're seeing both teams beginning to start their bruises. Yeah. 
early go for the bruises here, but Sonya taking a lot of damage and Tyke is just dealing it out. So they're gonna take the bruises um, pretty much at the same exact time here as uh, Free Agents did. But they're um, a little bit over one level behind, so they will have to stay back for now. And I mean, Free Agents almost up that level 10, so they want to try to force a team fight soon. Yeah, they need to force a team fight, but now we have two members of uh, two members of Wombo Combo up in that top lane. They need to rotate down to this tribute quite quickly if they want a chance of getting it. But right now, very much in the area of uh, free agents, and they're going to start capping this. There's no long range denies on the side of Wombo Combo. They're instead going to focus all of their efforts on pushing the spot lane, but they Cripple now have Peter's to in trouble. Their Just one more shot. Got a, he's got a block on him. The block is not a shield. He does go down thanks to the Hungry Arrow and the Envenom. And now we're going to be seeing Wombo Combo backing up here. Detail is able to get away. Knocks out, engaging, using Strafe, getting as much damage as possible. And Florial also going to be taken down thanks to the Root of Arthas. Oh, good engage here uh, for Free Agent. Also picking up uh, Tychus at the same time. So Tito will have to step back, dive a little bit deeper into his own fort, and they're running out of ammo. They're gonna take up the gates at least, and maybe even do a little bit of damage here on the fort. And I would I would suggest that Falsa just goes up there and tries to grab the tribute while they, they put need some to do put on as some pressure. Much as they can right now, they need to be forcing uh, Wombo Combo back and to just be distracted doing other stuff because of the fact that. Uh, free agents here are level 10 and that is huge and because of that uh, free agents did not want to fight uh, one more combo, sorry didn't want to fight them because yeah, they, they couldn't did not have the roles yet they couldn't they couldn't really now they are level 10 now so we will see a big fight incoming for that next tribute uh, which might take a little bit longer to spawn by the way did you hear that the first tribute now always spawns in the center of the map I did not. That is good to know, though. There's Starfall by Taranda, a very interesting ultimate ability. Gonna be very nice here for clearing waves and some extra denial, but uh, a bit interesting as opposed to Shadowstall, which on a map like this, which is quite big compared to a lot of the others, it would. it's very nice to have Shadowstall just for the vision. And the cloak, also very nice for escaping people like Tyriel, because you can't target someone with judgment when you are when they are cloaked. Alright, uh, Wombo Combo, they're going for the Golem now, and nothing happening out oh of my the agents God. yet. Will the sword run out? And it didn't run out in time, Crippen was gorged there, but he'd already thrown his Elduin's Might, and he just had enough time to teleport to it after the gorge expired before his Elduin's Might expired, so he was able to get out of that very nicely there. And this does mean Wombo Combo going to be able to get their Golem without having to sacrifice a team member. That's what happened to Crippen had not been able to escape there, very well played by him. And this now, is perfect for them. Now they can get in position and go for the tribute. Everyone already moving down the bot lane and free agents, they're still occupied with the boss. So this does give Wombo Combo a little bit of an edge when it comes to trick capturing the tribute and Cripple Pete already channeling. He's gonna get it. There's not gonna be a disrupt incoming. Yep, that's and two that's for two. For two. Golem has been taken by free agents. They're being forced to back up here though and in comes the engagement from Wombo Combo. The Judgment did come in straight, went completely uninterrupted though, because Crippen Pete didn't use his Judgment onto the Valor. Valor is now just sitting at the back here doing so much damage. Odin has been popped, but I'm seeing some very low members here from Wombo Combo. Hook does miss, and they're very low, but it is going to be enough. They do huge amounts of damage, and they're able to take down two members of a... Uh, currently two members. Could be three if Valor gets Ooh, hit by anything. Valor, she's so incredibly low, but she did run away. Um, it's gonna be safe oh, there. The Ooh, nice hook on Kai! Enough. Yes, it is, and that is a two for two you trade. Very nice pick up there by Daz Dingo, and that does even it up. It gives them a really good chance of taking this tribute. Tarant will be up in two seconds. Four members are currently up for a Wombo Combo, but Brywing has to be. She will be able to teleport straight back, though, and it doesn't look like they really want to contest. They're actually backing up here quite a bit. Matt's going for the fountain. Looks like they're coming in to contest. Crimpy's going to start denying. In comes Brywing, and here's the fight. Oh, Taz Dingo taking a little bit of damage there in front, and wow, taken out by Florial. Uh, there comes the stuff for one more time, actually doing some decent bit of damage on T2, but she gets out of there, and Rainer falls on Wombo Combo's side. Cripple Pete also pretty low, he wants to get knocks out, oh, get out and there, he out. might. Oh, the speed boost from his passive, able to save him, he gets pinged there by someone. 
just to show, to show off there. Gear comes in, tries to kill them off. He is going to get a lot of life steal from that whirlwind, thanks to the new patch, but it's not going to be enough. He does go down. You can't one versus four, even as Sonya with all that life steal, and that's going to be the curse for team uh, free agents. Yeah, excellent fight for them. Um, they really ripped them apart, and I'm, I didn't know why exactly Wombo Combo went back in there. I mean, they already lost three players. Why even sacrifice the remaining two? Yeah, it was a bit weird in general. But there's one thing I'd like to point out in this uh, game that is very important to how this has been going. Valor, as in knocks out, has so far used her strafe ult about four times. All four times it's gone completely uninterrupted and done so much damage. If we have a look at the damage charts, Valor currently has 24,000 hero damage. The next highest is on the enemy team, Tychus with 16k. She almost has 10k more damage than him. Purely because they're not stopping her. Strafe's just being left completely unchecked. Uh, do you know what happened to uh, Wombo Combo's giant? Uh, not giant, uh, but boss on the top lane? Uh, yeah, it basically died to the towers. And, okay. uh, and someone else, I think that was someone okay, else. Okay, yeah, caught out of position. There comes the shotgun. Oh, and they take her out. And Cripple Pete actually also completely there. out of position. Enough. You don't want to be there, Cripple Pete. He's getting burst oh. down. He's going to try an Angelic Flash over the wall, but he doesn't have the range. He does get killed off. He's going to clear this minion wave. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit unfortunate there. Didn't have the range to um, go over the um, um, the graveyard. And now they're pushing the bot lane. Already taken out the gates, and so far, Sonia and Tyrael down. So they can't really gauge upon this. Wombo combo needs their warriors back in here. Oh, they're and diving this. The minion wave has just arrived. They're going in. Arthas has ulted. So if Wombo Combo do decide to engage it, oh, that was a close hook there. The, the, ult from Tur the Q from Tyrande, sorry, stun from Tyrande did come down to try to stop them. In comes Kia here, trying to do the damage. The Starfall is doing so much damage, though, does take out Kia. Tiho is also being dropped by low, does able, is able to get into the Horde of the Swarms. Tigers, however, does get picked off out of Odin. Cripple Pete gets hooked in, going to be able to back out here. Tiho gets stunned after teleporting to Cripple Pete. But this is going to be the end of Free Agents Push. Very, very nice, very powerful push here by them. And they're able because they're able to take down that keep, this bottom lane is gonna start becoming a huge problem for free agents. Yeah, this is gonna buy um free agents a uh, little bit of time just to grab their own mercenary camps, possibly grab uh, grab the boss uh, once it comes just quickly, up. Is there anything wrong right here for you? Um what the heck? Yeah, okay, I'm assuming okay. you see it as well. Okay. Yep, I do. I do. Arthas' spirit is back from the grave. So you can get back to the grave. So yeah, he just Arthas. stays in there, man. <laughs> oh, looks yeah. like they want to go for a steal here on the boss. But, I mean... They're thinking about it. They're waiting ooh. for the boss, which is up in three Bumble seconds. Bumble Combo should There's know this. Ball. They know it's there. They know the enemy team is there. They're going to look for a fight. Oh, here. nice! So oh, on Florial and the body block coming out of Shadowmare. Taking him out so quickly. Kaya gets in there. But Tito it's caught out of position completely. And, oh, Cripple Pete running straight in that shock and awe. And they need to disperse here. Cheerio. Straight completely ignored again. And shock and awe also not interrupted. There's the hook! Wow! Kaya does get picked off as well. Great now, hook there. Now again, I know why Shadow Mare took to run it. 38k hero damage at 12 minutes on this Valor right now. 25 on the Fausta. 24 on Stitches, who as usual is being Stitches. <laughs> yeah, but I gotta give the attention here to Shadow Mare. I mean, she's really playing an excellent Tyrande. Oh god, yes. Um, I mean, those owls, wow, did the you vision. see that long range shot yeah, and getting Sonya so low? Her stuns have actually been really on point as well. She's been catching a lot of people, sometimes by accident, but the fact she's getting them at all is really, really good. And I like what they're doing here. Valor taking the tribute on her own while the rest of the team immediately translates down to this bottom lane and it's going to take the golem. Yeah, uh, they will grab that golem and Wombo Carvo needs to defend the top uh, top lane here with the golem with the with the giants incoming. So those did a decent bit of damage here as well. This would allow um, this would allow free agents to move in there uh, once again. But I think they're just gonna push down bot lane. I think this is likely going to be the case. 
And good lord, this the Sentinel now does so much damage. If we have a quick look at the talents, I'm just going to have a quick look at Tarande's here. She's taken Pierce on her Sentinel so that it does pass through enemies. But she's also taken Ranger, which increases the damage of Sentinel by 200%. It actually hits really hard now. Okay, so that's actually a snipe now, if you think about it. It kind of is, in the terms of da amount of damage it does. It's a map-wide snipe. Look at that damage to Florial there. There's the stun as well. There's the hook. Florial back it out. Judgment does come in. Using it before Strafe. Strafe being popped. Once again, going to be completely uninterrupted. Oh, it is interrupted there. Nice polymorph there by Brightwing. And knocks out. Has had to back out here. But there's the Gorge onto Tychus. Tychus will die straight away. Not straight away. He does get picked off, though. And this will be GG. And it's going to be free agents that takes the game. Tito is still doing the best he can, but it's not going to be enough. And, like we said, free agents. Shields are down. Game. Core down to 40%. Yeah, they're going to take it out. Um, no worries whatsoever. And free agents. Uh, I talked about their lineup being uh, a little bit worse than Wombo Combos, but wow, man, they've really shown how to work this lineup, uh, especially with Tyrande. And as you bad. said, Vala just going unstopped, do dishing out so much damage. Wow. Uh, who banned Ufa? Um, the Uther ban was by free agents. That would be why. They're banning Ufa to open up the space for Vala so that she doesn't get interrupted with Divine Storm. It's a All really, right. really good choice. Well, and we, we saw Uther bans like one or two months ago, so... Uh, I mean, he, he's a, definitely a strong ban, but like with Abathur, with Tychus, uh, those bans were really strong as well, so... Uh, I mean... Join uh, on me. It's just it's just a changing meta, oh, and maybe they know. Okay, uh, we have a really strong Valor on our hands if we do stop Uther. 